All right, what's up, guys? It's early in the morning. Get up and thought I'd give me a little workout in. And uh, we're jumping to chapter nine of uh, Genesis right now. And um, before I get started, I appreciate everybody watching the video. But basically, chapter nine starts out with, you know, Noah and his family uh, surviving the uh, flood and God once again telling him that he's, he's blessing him and his family. But as I read on in the chapter, what stuck out to me was, um, I don't know what chapter was, four or five or something like that, where he allowed them to rule over the beast of the land and stuff like that. And, um, but he made a, he made a, a specific uh, request that they, that they ate, you know, they ate everything of the land or whatever that was, um, I guess dry land animals or whatever they could eat, you know, it was uh, free to eat or whatever, but they were not to eat uh, animals that still had uh, blood in them, like life blood in them. That's what that's the way it was put in the Bible. And that made me think about people that like eat like raw steaks or rare steaks or whatever like that. Talking about the, talking about the blood is, excuse me, talking about the blood is um taste or whatever for them or whatever. I ain't never been able to eat a steak that, was, that had blood in it for real. And the best I was able to do was, like, meet him well. And even then, it was, like, you know, well done or whatever. So that was an interesting um, verse in the Bible that stuck out to me that um, I wanted to bring up. But we'll keep on going. Um, God also told them um, that any human that spills blood will get their blood spilled kind of like, you know, eye for eye and um, God's eyes. So, you know, that's, he, that, that clearly showed that he was... He was obviously sick of the murder that was going on, um, you know, prior to the flood. Um, he also made a promise with uh, Noah that he would never destroy the earth again um, via floods. He kind of made that specific, like, you know, you know, maybe, maybe something else, but not the flood. But reading this chapter a couple times, I don't think that's what this chapter is about. The chapter, what this chapter is probably about, is what happened between um, Noah and his sons. So after the flood, um, it states that um, that Noah planted a, a wine vineyard or whatever, and he produced wine. And um, he drank the wine one day, and um, got really drunk and passed out in his tent or whatever. And his son uh, Ham and the father of Canaan, they, they make that specific. Um, found him in his tent, and he was naked, you know, drunk, passed out in his tent. And um, Ham went and told his other brothers so they can go, they can go kind of cover their dad up and help him out and all that type of stuff. Well, Noah didn't want none of that. Noah wanted to be left alone. From what I gather from the reading, he wanted to be left alone. He didn't want nobody coming to cover him and then like that or help him out, you know. Um, so when he woke up and found out, what Ham had did uh, when he told his brother to come and help him and stuff like that, Noah did not like that. So at this point, I'm kind of confused. I don't know if um, if Noah has cursing powers like God at this point or he just saying this, but when he woke up and, and like I said, he got mad at what had happened, um, he cursed Canaan. No, 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 he did curse Canaan, but he cursed Ham and his son Canaan, but specifically his son Canaan. That's why they make it specific that um, that Canaan is the son of Ham, and that's the Ham is the one that found Noah's um, passed out in the tent, and he cursed Canaan, his son. He can't, he he cursed the son to be a slave to his um, two other uncles, and um, yeah, he that was, that's what I'm saying. Like, I do do Noah have cursing powers, or, or I don't. I'm not for sure, but if he does, then he, then he cursed his nephew to the slave for his other two uncles because of what. His father did. So what they did is the curses of the father affect the son or the kids. You know, I guess that's like a, a correlation there. It just seemed like to me Noah got drunk and just wanted to be left alone, man. That was the just the second half of this chapter. You know, he just wanted to be left alone. He had been dealing with the flood, all that type of stuff. Watch humanity die around him. I guess he just wanted to kick it and not be bothered. But that's how chapter 9 ends. And, um... It states again these 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 big age numbers and just wants to state that uh the Bible wants to state that Noah lived to be a nine hundred and fifty years old and then he died. And 
that's basically how um, chapter nine ends. Uh, if you appreciate, you know, the chapter by chapter uh, interpretation, like it, comment, and uh, I'll see y'all in um, chapter 10. Peace.